Good afternoon, everyone. Hold on. We gotta do that again. Good afternoon, everyone. That's what I'm talking about. One more time. Good afternoon, everyone. Here we go. Awesome. So there's a reason why we can be excited and exuberant uh, today. It's because we're celebrating the birthday of a very, very famous individual jazz musician. Can anyone tell me who that is? Duke Ellington. Duke Ellington. Got it from down there. Today is Duke Ellington's birthday, so we're really excited to have this program on this day. My name is Lee Hogan. I'm Chief Education Officer at HSA. It's a pleasure to have such a full crowd, and we are very, very excited to have this partnership with the Jazz Power Initiative. If you can, please give it to Dr. Eli Damon a big hand. You're already doing this stuff. Thank you so much. And I want to thank West Harlem Development Corporation for saying, find a partner in West Harlem and do something special. Uh, and that's what we're doing today. We got that swing. And we're so excited to partner with Harlem School of the Arts because we share similar values. We at Jazz Power Initiative believe that jazz has essential wisdom for everyone and that the African American and Latin American communities that created a jazz, that created jazz, have a right to access its fruits. Do you agree? Yeah. All right. So that's why we're here. And once I met Lee and we decided to partner, we realized we had so many points of connection as jazz musicians. We both work with Illinois Jaquette Big Band, one of the great swing band leaders, to emerge from the swing, swing era, the 40s and 50s, and then keep a band going close to the change of the century. And both Lee and I got mentored and learned and traveled the world with Illinois. And then we both went to Rutgers University, State University of New Jersey. And we both, both knew Professor Bill Fielder, the, the legendary brass teacher who I just hung out with him at lunch, but you actually studied trumpet. I really hung out with him. <laughs> Not just lunch, taking him home, picking him up, taking him to the doctor. They didn't have the trumpet lessons, so very extensive uh, relationship. But the thing we share a passion for is being very serious about our artistry as artists, as performers, but also bringing it home sharing it with our community through education. And so we're so grateful to have found you as a partner. And I'd love to pick it back up what you just said because it was very profound. At HSA, we really have an initiative to bring uh, HSA, to make HSA a jazz hub. Our founder, Dorothy Maynard, yeah, yes, definitely, please clap for that. And because you know the history of Harlem. And our, our founder, Dorothy Maynard, started this school in 1964 realizing that the arts were transformative, you know? And so, fast forward to today, we want to use that and keep that mission and understand that the arts are transformative, and particularly jazz music is transformative, and it can make you a whole person as a, as a student, even if you don't become a jazz musician after, even if you don't become a musician, dancer, the fact that you're in arts programming makes you a whole person. Can we get a clap for that? Yeah. And so, we really, really are like so happy to work with Jazz Power Initiative and all the other um, organizations that are involved here, Harlem Samba, the Guardia uh, Jazz Ensemble as well. And we realize that the community is what makes it happen. We can't do it on our own. We gotta have the community get together and make this happen together. So, we're really excited. Yeah, yes, yes we are. And we've got an amazing program. Harlem Samba is here. Harlem Samba? Yeah. And the director, Dr. Dana Montero. Yeah. We've got LaGuardia High School Jazz Director Kevin Blanc and LaGuardia High School Brass students. They're there too. And we've also got Jazz Power's own ZA Ensemble. Give it up for ZA. And now, and now um, we are very happy to um, introduce our jazz organization or our jazz ensemble here, 
the Harlem School of the Arts Advanced Jazz Band. It's run under the direction of Mayla Kiermans, who's been with us for a number of years, and he's gonna kick it off with the group. Please give it up for Mayla Kiermans. Thank you so much. Man, this room is so beautiful, but it's especially beautiful with all these people in it, man. It's like such a great vibe. It's really nice to be here. Um, I'm not going to talk too much. I want to get right into the music, and uh, we want to like paint a sort of musical sonic picture for you here. And we're going to start with our wonderful uh, bass player and guitar player, guitar player Lila Hone, and bass player Eduardo Ortega Jr. All right. And now how about a little bit of color from, from our keyboardists, our pianists, Kai and OJ and Micah and Street. <laughs> Thank you. 
quick equipment change, including a bass clarinet, bass clarinet switch, which you probably don't see too often. I mean, you don't really see the bass clarinet too often anyway, but two different bass clarinets on one concert. That's, that's something else. Um, and we're going we're gonna to get the electric bass out here. We're going to do uh, a really wonderful, oh, that, that tune, by the way, was um, a really beautiful, beautiful song that was uh, made famous by the Duke Ellington Orchestra. So thank you for that, Duke Ellington. Um, but written by his valve trombone player, Wong Chizal, and uh, entitled Caravan. Caravan. And this next one we're going to play is, uh, is a really wonderful tune. I, I don't want to give up too much about it. We're, we're going to hit you with a little bit of a surprise. But um, this one is by Chick Corea, and it's called Spain.
Give it up for an HSA-owned Afghanistan ensemble. What about that groove? That groove, right? Can you feel it? One more time, the HSA's advanced jazz ensemble. And that's what this is all about, celebrating young people in jazz and bringing them together with the masters. And we're going to introduce our first jazz master to join us on the bass. Please give it up for an award-winning bassist who's traveled the world, played with some of the greatest jazz musicians of our time, and is one himself, Mr. Ron Flaxico on the bass. And we've got a young man who I met when he was about the age of some of the students who just got up here. He went on to SUNY Purchase to get his jazz degree. We welcome as a young professional Naza Ensemble drummer, Jordan Carr. Wow. And then I believe you're going to introduce the next two special guests with us. Thank you, Dr. Eli. Uh, we're excited to introduce the next guest. Uh, this vocalist is part of HSA's program. She is part of the Dorothy Maynard Hall Singers and is also studying here. Um, I first um, met her, was, was introduced to her, at an event that we did earlier this year. It was called Harlem Renaissance to Paris. And she came up and sang this wonderful song by Duke Ellington and blew us away. So we said we have to have her come back and do something for this special day, um, it being Duke Ellington's birthday. So, without further ado, could you please give a big hand to Ms. Armani Obergon, our vocalist. We also have a very, very special guest, um, three-time Grammy-nominated violinist, artist, and composer, and HSA alum, Mr. Curtis Stewart. Please give him a hand. They're going to do Duke Ellington's probably his most famous tune. This is called Take the A Train. Mr. Stewart is getting set up. Um, another special, special occasion, and the reason why we're getting together is tomorrow is a, another special day in jazz uh, music history. Does anybody know what tomorrow is? Uh, the students are on point today. It's International Jazz Day tomorrow. So we're recording this so that it can be broadcast on International Jazz Day's website. It'll be broadcast worldwide. So when you clap and when you make noise, it's going to be heard around the world. So give it your all, okay? All right, are we ready?
Carter Stewart on violin. One more time for Curtis. That was awesome. now. You know, none of this is possible without mentorship, and that's something Lee and I have talked a lot about, the power of mentorship. Um, and we have some great mentors here. Uh, some of them are here with us, and some of them have moved on to other spheres. In my life, that was people like Barry Harris, a great educator and performer. I've enjoyed an over 30 year relationship with Barry as my teacher, as my mentor, as friend, and watched how he brought his artistry in service of community every single day. And that's what we try to do at Jazz Power Initiative. And I hear you've had a lot of great yeah. mentors too. Um, in, in addition to Mr. Harris, um, I was very fortunate to be under the tutelage and a study with Mr. Clark Terry who's one of our jazz masters, who was, who was cast on. Um, and I just remember, the talk of lessons were amazing, but where I really, really got the meat, and where I really got influence and advice was when we were just talking, when I was driving him to the doctor as well, you know, to get his checkups, or, you know, we were going out to lunch, you know. Um, and I think mentorship, that really, really shows what mentorship is. It's not just, learning the instrument, but it's also getting to talk to them, learn their stories, you know, see their passion, and that's how you really, really learn from um, the masters. So, we, we encourage the students today, we have, a, we have a couple masters here, now we encourage the students to ask questions, you know, just, or just say, you know, say hi. Just, you know, just meet them because it's very important for your growth and nurture. And we have a good friend, does a lot of mentoring, and she's been a real force for music and for music education in New York City. And she's responsible for helping us connect with Harlem Samba. Please welcome the wonderful percussionist Annette A. Aguilar. <laughs> She's been performing with us. We just did a series of concerts at Alianza Dominicana Cultural Center up in Washington Heights, where we're once a month and once a month at National Jazz Museum in Harlem. Uh, and then we did Car Free Day uh, in Washington Heights, part of the Department of Transportation Earth Day celebration. Uh, and that and I share a, a great passion for making sure that Latin jazz and jazz are available in our community on a daily, weekly, monthly, annual basis, because we believe so strong that this music is essential to keep our, our communities healthy and vibrant. Um, we, uh, another great inspiration to me has been John Hendricks, the fantastic singer and uh, vocalist and lyricist and co-founder of Lambert Hendricks and Ross. I got to meet him uh, and we got to honor him some years ago. And he is the inspiration for what we're going to do now, which is present to you our vocal ensemble, our young professional vocal ensemble that's in residence at Jazz Power, that's been performing over this past week. Please welcome these five young professionals, the ZA Ensemble. So, I'm Ed Hubert, Hester Estrella, Watson Hubert, and Zanika Pitty Black. We're going to perform for you um, a Count Basie piece first, called Every Day I Have the Blues. And this one was originated by Joe Williams with the Count Basie Orchestra. And John Hendricks listened to the music, listened to the recording nonstop for about three days, and then sat down and in 20 minutes wrote lyrics to all the instrumental parts. So that's what you're going to hear now. A big band arrangement performed by five vocalists has been more slack. Uh, uh, arranged for five voices with every part 
his own church based on John Hendricks' genes and the power of mentorship. Here we go.
Kevin, Kevin, I hope you don't mind me saying, Kevin is a proud immigrant from Peru. Did you know a proud immigrant from Peru could sing the blues like that? <laughs> This next one in celebration of Duke Ellington's birthday is called, What Am I Here For? And John Hendricks actually told me the story of how the lyrics that he wrote for What Am I Here For so impressed Duke Ellington that Duke Ellington asked John Hendricks to be in his first ever sacred concert, which was one of Ellington's very important later works. And John Hendricks for a long time didn't understand why do, didn't ask a more famous singer, like Frank Sinatra even? But it was these lyrics that John came to understand, had convinced the Duke that John knew what he was talking about. What am I here for?
right, happy birthday, dude. We love you badly. Can we all say that for the television audience? Happy birthday, dude. We love you madly. One more time. Happy birthday, dude. We love you madly. Woo! All right. This next one was written by the pianist Don Pullen. And, you know, when I called Lonnie for this gig, he said, oh, I played with Lambert Hendricks and Ross. And then I said, well, we're also doing this thing by Don Pullen. He said, well, I played with him, too. <laughs> so we're so happy to have Lonnie Flax go with us. Give it up with Lonnie on the video. Coming in. This is called Listen to the People. We hope you enjoy it.
Thank you very much. I'd like to introduce you to the members of the group. Our first soprano and assistant conductor, Joie St. Hubert. Second soprano, Esther Estrella. Tenor, Kevin Zuniga. Alto, holding it down, Mimi Block. Bass baritone, Angel Vives. Well, we'd like to invite Mr. Curtis Stewart to join us on this one and help us raise the spirit of Harlem, although y'all got it raised already, but we're just, gonna, we're just gonna meet you there with a song that Thelonious Monk wrote called In Walk Bud with lyrics by John Hendricks.
song for you with Za before we bring up our real, real special guest. Uh, and this song was made famous by the Count Basie Big Band, uh, known as the Swingin's Band in the Land. It's called One O'Clock Jump. And I don't know, Curtis, if you feel like playing some blues in D flat, you're welcome to it. <laughs> you know, it's not exactly a violin friendly key, but you being who you are, uh, never stopped you before. So. <laughs>
Dr. Eli Yeaman and his ensemble. Give it up. Dr. Eli Yeaman and the Zaw Ensemble, give it up! The spirit is in the house. I didn't want that one o'clock jump to end, Lee. I was spirit. ready to keep on playing, man. The spirit's there. <laughs> You know, you mentioned spirit, and you know, this is something we don't talk about a lot in the school setting, but what is that? What is the spirit? What does that mean? It's a rhetorical question, just want everybody to think about that. What does that mean? That feeling. <laughs> that glorious feeling. And, you know, I, do you remember when the Illinois Jack kept playing one o'clock, Joe? I do. It was like Genesis, you know? It's just, oh my God, that feeling of playing that, that song. Yeah, that jump, I mean, the actual <laughs> jump would happen. You know, you were jumping out of your seat and you were really feeling it. Yeah. Yeah. This is what we need right now, don't you think? More swing. We got that swing in Harlem. We got that swing in Harlem, definitely. You got that swing in Harlem? <laughs> Well, we got a, a real special guest in the house, uh, someone I've had the great fortune to know for about 25 years, since I was his student teacher at LaGuardia High School, get my master's degree, and watching a true artist in front of children every day, and then going on the road for 10 years with my blues band. We've got Bob Stewart in the house. And I want to tell you just a little bit about him. For over 50 years, Bob Stewart has been a pioneer brass musician and with his compatriot Howard Johnson brought the tuba back as a primary bass instrument in jazz. He's played with Taj Mahal, Charles Mingus, Dizzy Gillespie, Lester Bowie, Carla Blay, Arthur Blythe, just to name a few. He's led his own band since the 1980s and you're going to hear the latest iteration of his band today with his son, Curtis, and guitarist, Kelvin Bell, their string trio. In addition to being such a groundbreaking performer, Mr. Stewart has been a leading educator at LaGuardia High School, where he was the jazz director 20 years ago, at Lehman College, City University of New York, and the Juilliard School. Bob has literally mentored hundreds of professional musicians and also lovers of music, including me. So please welcome Mr. Bob Stewart and his spring trio. While he gets set up, I just want to let you know that Mr. Bob Stewart is also on the board of directors of Jazz Power Initiative, and we thank him so much for his leadership, which is so important um, to have people with vision like Mr. Stewart guiding the way. So let's enjoy his performance.
while we're getting set up, I just want to say this is a tremendous day at HSA today. Um, we have this incredible event going on right now celebrating jazz. And we also have our musical theater um, students are performing Matilda. Um, the show has been sold out for a couple of weeks now, except for the Sunday night show. So I would encourage you, if you don't already have tickets, come Sunday night and come see Matilda. Um, last night's event I heard, or last night's performance was extraordinary. So really want to see you guys, if you can make it back. I'm going to bring Dr. Eli Yaman back up. We're just going to kill some, some time while we're setting up, so. I don't know. You know, we should talk about the blues. Okay. So earlier this morning, we had a workshop with the students, and we talked about the blues, um, which is the underlying theme of this, it's called We Got That Swing, but the blues is really what's um, at the heart of all this. And so maybe we could talk a little bit about what we told the students and some of their input as well. Well, I, you know, when we talk about the blues, we always quote the great Willie Dixon, who said, the blues is the roots, everything else is the fruits. Come on, say it like you know it, everybody. The blues is the roots, Everything else is the fruits. Because if you think about R&B, what does that stand for? Rhythm blues. But let me challenge you. Ask some under 30-year-olds. You're going to find a lot of them who don't know what that stands for. So we got to make sure everybody knows that's where it comes from. Rock and roll, where does that come from? Blues. Country music, they say that's nothing but the blues with a twang. You got bluegrass. You know, you you got so many different styles of American music. Yeah, you did. And so this is what we, we want to make sure our young people understand. That not only is it the core, the essence, the roots of American music, but it's theirs. It's their inheritance. And it's up to them to see what's next with the blues. And that was the subject of our workshop this morning. It's like, what is the blues? Where does it come from? We didn't name the source. Where does it come from? Africa. Africa and African Americans. Yeah. Yes. So recognizing the source and then seeing what you can do with the blues. And I got to say, our students were pretty on point with it, right? They knew the answers. They came back and they were really, really conversational about it. So um, I think we'll talk a little bit about the blues a little later in the program, right? Yep. I believe we're ready.
One more time for the string trio, Mr. Bob Stewart, Mr. Kelvin Bell, Mr. Curtis Stewart. continue our program. Um, we're very excited to have the LaGuardia um, Jazz Brass Ensemble join us. Um, this ensemble is under the direction of Mr. Kevin Blanc. Uh, and Mr. Blanc has been a part of the LaGuardia programming. He's been leading the jazz uh, direction and directive for more than 20 years, 25 years he's been there and has really been essential to LaGuardia's incredible program. Um, please give Mr. Kevin Blanc a big hand. I have to mention he's also an, an, ex, an incredible trumpet player, originally from New Orleans, and he leads his own big band um, at Swing 46, I heard. So um, we really are fortunate to have Kevin here and the Brass Ensemble. And this, this um, portion of the program is going to be under the direction of Mr. Bob Stewart. We are going to be doing the music from Lester Bowie's Brass Fantasy. So please enjoy. Mm
Eli Allen on drummer, please. Eli. This next one is uh, rhythm and blues. It's coming straight out of the tradition of the blues we've been talking about all morning. And this is called Nighttime is the Right Time. <laughs> to be <laughs> with the one you love. That's right. Two, one. 
Salguero, Dr. Dana Montero. <laughs> and then tell us about these. Well, this is the Harlem Samba from Frederick Drugler's Academy down the block. And yeah. Estudiantes, moving. And I, I want to tell you about my friend, Dr. Dana Montero from DOE. He created the Samba School and made it happen and taught the DOE and educators, as myself, with the second master's in education, I learned from him. I'm, I'm, I've always been a Sambista myself. But to bring it into the New York public schools and having these kids flourish, and then also bringing these incredible mestres from Salguero, it's an escola, one of the special schools in, in Rio, which I don't know, how many people have been to Carnival here in Rio? Raise up your hand. Or at least watched it on TV or global. Yeah. I mean, you know, you got 5,000 people anyway. Uh, Guillermo and Gustavo are the bateria uh, masters there, and they won a, a, a bunch of awards. They also run for rhythm. So it's basically like a symphony. If you get into this, it's a, it's a percussion of symphony, but with the groove that comes from the, the rhythms of candomblé, which is kind of the Yoruba thing. So it's all, you know, together with like the Afro-Cuban, we're all together here. So, and then we have Felipe here as well, and then some other friends. And then we're going to have Al Cavaquino, eh, Fernanda, uh, well, not now, but uh, first we're going to do the Enjero. Enjero is a theme of the of a thing that they do every year, of a particular thing they do. And so these guys came to write, they wrote uh, in Hedo for the Harlem Samba School recently. So there's a lot to learn. And so anyway, um, and a lot to celebrate, yes. We, okay, okay, let me get my chimbao here. Thank you, and then Aguilar. Once again for Dr. Dana Montero and Harlem Samba, welcome to Harlem School of the Arts. We got that swing! Y'all say it! We got that swing!
invite our Za members to come sing a song from the Carnival of 1993 in Portuguese that they practice all together from the Salguero. And we welcome Fernand to join us on Cavaquinho. And uh, one more song. How about it for Harlem Samba? Yes, indeed. How about it for Harlem School of the Arts? And we have Jazz Power. Jazz Power Initiative. We want to thank all our staff. How about it for Hani Gonzalez, our Senior Director of Business Affairs. Where's Hani? Hani, where are you? There she is, right over there in the white coat. And we've got Arlene Rodriguez, our program manager. We want to thank our program manager, Arlene. There she is. If you'd like to know about more of our programs, talk to Arlene. I am Eli Yeaman, the Managing and Artistic Director of Jazz Power Initiative. We are so thankful and grateful to Harlem School of the Arts and Mr. Lee Hogan's, our co-producers. Thank you so much, Mr. Lee Hogan's. Yes, indeed. And we have some thank thank yous as well to our funders. Uh, we'd like to thank. We got that swing is made possible in part by public funding from the New York State Council on the Arts with the support of the Office of the Governor and the New York State Legislature and the New York City Department of Cultural Affairs in partnership with the City Council. We're also so grateful for the support and the inspiration to get together in West Harlem from the West Harlem Development Corporation, also the Hispanic Federation with the Miranda Fund Family Fund and TD Charitable Foundation, which are supporters of our ZA Ensemble as well as individual donors. Thank you to all these supporters. Give it up for them. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Lee Hogan. We're, we're so thankful to have the Jazz Power Initiative here in this partnership. Um, we'd also, I just say, like to thank Herb Albert Foundation, who's uh, given us some funding to make this happen. Um, and we're just so thankful for the Harlem Ensemble, uh, Harlem Samba Ensemble, I'm sorry, uh, Harlem Samba and also LaGuardia uh, Jazz Brass Ensemble. Um, yeah, give them a give them a big hand. Mr. Bob Stewart, Mr. Curtis Stewart, Mr. Lonnie Plaxico, and also Mr. Kelvin Bell. We're so thankful.
All right, we hope to see you next year. See you next year, Island School of the Arts. We love you. <laughs> Thank you, Yolanda Wins. <laughs> Thank you all. Thanks to Jazz Power Initiative, everyone involved, Harlem Samba, Bob Stewart's String Trio, our HSA and Mass Jazz Band, LaGuardia Jazz Ensemble, and the Saw Ensemble. Thank you. Have a good day.